it's midday now, so the light's pretty much kaka. Uh, can't do anything outside, but what's ideal in this situation is you're getting the light from above, hitting the concrete and flooding into areas like this. So it's really great um, portrait lighting if I can find people uh, or areas in open shade like this. So you can get really cool portraits like you've got this guy here that we've just walked past. That's his sewing machine. He's a tailor. What an awesome shot. I nearly swore there. Um, so I'm going to try and uh, see if you'll let me take, can I take your photo? So I always try and get their, um, make eye contact. Um, always greet people with a big smile. Uh, he agreed. I had have just been um, a bit, uh, a bit shyer about this and just step back and tried to sneak photos people feel a bit violated so i think this is like the best way to do it so i'm just going to get you just work i'll photograph you so maybe sewing something you do so yes yes so obviously there's a language barrier i'm not even fluent in english so you know just uh, trying to articulate in another language is going to be difficult but i just gesture just do what you need to do he's going to keep working tricky here because I've got, a, um, I've got a wire in between me and where he is so I need to make sure that I set my um, focus point on his face through the actual mesh. So I'm going to get in. Now I'm going to take a reading of his skin tone. His skin tone is very dark um, so I, it may overexpose but we've got the best lighting flooding in here. It's beautiful flat lighting. So I'm going to come in quite close. I'm, I want to uh, go at, uh, I'm shooting at 105, I've got my 24, Canon 24 to 105 L series lens um, and I'm going to shoot this at f4, I want the background to drop out and obviously I'm handheld so I need a fairly fast shutter speed, there's so much light kicking around here that this is going to make this fairly easy. The challenging thing in this situation is uh, making sure that I get um, his eyes sharp. Now, I've just uh, taken a reading and I've found that um, to, to get him correctly exposed at f4 at 100 ISO, I need to be shooting at a 60th of a second. Handheld for me at a 60th of a second is going to be too slow. I can use some bracing techniques where I bring my elbows in and hold onto the camera so it doesn't shake. I could have a tripod very difficult to carry a tripod around in these situations you're going to miss the shot so I need to make my um, my camera a bit more sensitive to light so I increase my ISO in this situation so I'm going to go up because I want to shoot at f4 I don't have another f stop up my sleeve my camera is limited to f4 I'm going to go up to 800 ISO so hopefully that's going to give me a couple more stops and that's going to make it a better, a like, I'm not going to get camera shake. So he's happily now relaxed and uh, he's going to just keep working. Yes, that's it, good. Just maybe sewing. So again, just gesturing. What an awesome guy he's got. He's going to get some jeans out. There we go. That is such a cool shot. Look at that. He's in concentration. So now I'm trying, yes. And occasionally, if he glances at me, I just let him know that I'm happy with what he's doing. And this is really beautiful. That's great. So if I'm not careful and I hit the, the wire and focus on the wire, he's going to be out of focus. And I take a reading for his skin tone. And I'm also just angling so that I ma ma make sure that I'm locking onto his eyes. That's it. And that's quite a beautiful shot. So now we make sure that we uh, show him so that he can see it. And this angle here, just as I've come around, yeah, I've come around here and now I've noticed that, oh my God, this angle is so much better. So I'm gonna just keep going. Uh, he, uh, now I've got, I've got his trust, I think. So just keep sewing, keep going, take some more now. Um, it's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. A bit of concentration on the face. That's so nice. So 
know what you've got if you've got you've got some uh, something interesting in the foreground uh, he's the point of focus he's the hero of my shot in the middle ground and then I've got all the stuff that's behind him that uh, tells a story about what his life. He's got the clothes hanging in there. And this is a really beautiful environmental portrait. And all this, all that, the, the way I got this, I smiled at him and asked him, I made a gesture. That was the, uh, the entire conversation. And uh, I managed to get some really beautiful shots. I like the way that there's uh, light behind him, exposing for the skin tone. I don't mind having the mesh in the foreground because it's just made it really interesting. It's just a matter of making sure that I, um, I nailed the focus and wasn't, uh, was missing the, um, the wire and getting it on his uh, eye. Shot. Awesome. Thank you. It's fantastic. Look. Look at you.